This is going to be a tutorial. I'm going to show you how to achieve this particular look here. I Instagrammed um, a similar look a couple of weeks ago and some of you requested for a tutorial. So here it is. Other than a couple of face products, most of the products that I used are from Inglot. I never realized how much Inglot products I had till I did this tutorial. Uh, but most of them are from their latest collections and their latest releases. So I'm really excited to share it with you guys. As usual, really love all the quality and amazingness of these products. I'll share with you more as I do the tutorial but this is how the look looks like and I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay guys, we're going to get started with this Inglot Mattifying Under Makeup Base which is a primer to just kind of prime your face and this is perfect if you've got oily skin, just putting that all across your face focusing on the t-zone before moving on to this foundation which is a favorite of mine i'm in shade number eight this is the luminous silk foundation it has really good medium to full coverage and it's gorgeous i usually dab it on with this damp beauty blender and you can see that it covers off most of my spots going on to highlight my face with this weightless complete coverage concealer by urban decay i'm in the shade medium dark and I chose it in the tone warm they do come in cool tones as well and just putting that in the very basic highlighting areas of the face and blending it out with a beauty blender I absolutely love this concealer for this purpose and then moving on to kind of balance it out with this gorgeous bronzer or contour powder actually from Inglot and just using this lovely bell brush to put it in the um, inner parts of the cheeks placing it there and then using a more fluffy brush to blend it out I'm housing my blush in this gorgeous new Flexi palette by Inglot and this is in the shade 47, really really pretty coral colour, you can see how pigmented it is. And then I am going to set my face, all those products with my Mineralized Skin Finish powder by MAC and this is in medium deep. Once the eyebrows are done, moving on to eyeshadow primer. This is the eyeshadow keeper by Inglot and it is new. It is amazing if you want to use a lot of eye products or a lot of glitter. It really helps to stick the products in there. Um, I'm going to take this really fluffy blending brush, taking like a mixture of those two colors from the tri-color uh, shadow there and just putting that in the outer corners of my eyes. Taking a more tapered blending brush, this is 4SS by Inglot and this gorgeous dark brown colour in 327. You can see how pigmented the colours are and at this stage it's really about taking more product and blending it in and then I'm taking a clean blending brush and blending those two colours together. This gorgeous champagne colour in 463 is probably like one of my current favourite obsessions. It's so gorgeous and just putting that onto my eyelids is super super pigmented and I just like that look of that off-white colour on the lids, very clean and crips. And then from this Anastasia palette, just taking this angled brush and a dark black colour and putting that in the angles of my eyes. just placing it in the V shape and then kind of blending it upwards to meet the rest of the colours. This is my current favourite technique for a simple neutral eyes. And then taking a clean blending brush and just blending everything on top just so that it all looks clean and crips and that's how it looks like. My current favourites, oh my god, these are so beautiful. These are the Pure Pigment Eyeshadows. This is in number 115. It's one of their latest colours and it's so gorgeous. I'm taking the it is the 13P brush from Inglot and I'm just using that to pat in the Pure Pigment Eyeshadow where the champagne colour was. Balancing the colours with this off-white colour underneath the eyebrows to brighten things up a little bit. Finishing it off with an eyeliner. Um, this is just the normal black liner that I usually use from Silky Girl. And then it, at the bottom lashes, my current favourite is this brown eyeliner by MAC. And I'm just putting that in the lower lines of my eyes. 
And then taking again with a pencil brush this uh, trio colour and just balancing it out in my lower lashes. This is Inglot's latest mascara, the Long for Mascara, and it comes with a really fat tube and a really fat spoolie, and it's super lengthening um, for your lashes. So that's pretty much the eye look. And then I'm going to move on to this lip liner. This is also new. It's in a color 316, but I absolutely love the texture of it. My lips are really pigmented, especially at the edges that you can see there, and this lip liner completely covers any of that pigmentation so i absolutely love it it's hard for me to find like a proper nude lipstick but this is the bomb seriously i'm matching that with this lipstick in 145 and it's just a really nice dark rosy nude lipstick and it's just a perfect combination to that lip color and it smells like candy by the way <laughs> Spritzing and setting my face with this refreshing face mist which is suitable for oily skin like mine and just putting that all over it smells amazing and it's really refreshing and that's about it that's the look uh, the only thing I would change is probably just to put on the eyes first before the face makeup go um, since I'm working with pigments but other than that this is pretty much my go-to neutral eyes look I hope you guys enjoy bye don't forget to subscribe and like bye